What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! All right, we're coming back to Chevelle. Yes, indeed, Chevelle fans feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bop, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all of those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Ian Franks, and Ian wanted to see me react to this song by Chevelle called, I Get It. I get it, I get it all. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Chevelle, mm, surprise, surprise. And the video has 1.6 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. A link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. I get it all i got i got some album work here it it does say chevelle look this is the link that i was given okay so if this is not it don't blame me i blame the requester blame ian <laughs> don't blame me for that all right let's do this all right boy let's do this can't hide it <laughs> i can't hide it i i have no poker face um i'm digging the tune i'm digging the tune a lot of reasons number one that acoustic guitar love it i love the use of that acoustic to to pull us along through those verses it, it, it's really nice and it is pulling us it's absolutely grabbing us and like it's like a lasso Whew. come on Come on, you know you want to come with me. Let's go. You know, it's I, I love that. It feels really good. Uh the bass. Okay. The only thing, my only complaint uh, about this whole song so far, the, the bass tone. It's a little much. It, it's a little much on the on the uh on the distortion. I, I, I think it, it's not even the distortion. I think it's just the type of distortion. They're going for a real bitey, turbo-driven distortion. If they had just gone with like a basic fuzz, a much lighter fuzz, I think the intensity would have been okay. 
but uh, in the volume of it would have been okay. It, w it would have been a lot better than what we've got. That's that's really my only gripe. I, I like what the bass player is playing. I'm just not big on the tone. Vocally, yeah, vocally, that this is this is absolutely selling the song. Uh, very conducive to what's happening within the music. Uh, what the what the singer's doing. The chorus is the hook, without question. I'm digging that chorus. I like the progression. We're we're in B, and from the B, we're going down to the A, which would be the seven down to the E, which would be the four, and then resolving down to B again. Uh, I like that. So, you know, up on the root, down to the seven, down to the four, down to the root again. I like that. I really like that. It sounds great. Um, it's a simple progression, but like I've always said on the channel, simple can be effective when it's done properly, and that is definitely being done properly. Let's keep going. Oh, oddly enough, I was just talking about the chorus. Here it is. Nice bridge, very, very nicely done. A lot of playing around the fifth. It, it's like they kept skipping around the fifth, you know, and then they would come to the fifth, uh, and that was nice, you know, they would go to the seven, to the six, down to the three, to the four, up to the fifth, and it's like, oh, okay, I, you know, you, you feel like when they go to the seven, to the six, you would think they would hit the five. Uh-uh, no, they skip it, they go to the third, up to the fourth, and then they give you the payoff on the fifth. Uh, that's just one example. They did a lot of variations of that. Like they would go four to three, back up to the four, to the six, down to the five. You know, but always, always coming back to the fifth. I, I think that's really cool. Really cool. Uh, the F sharp. Anyway, um, very nice bridge. Very well done. A nice uh, little variation. I, I like that. Uh, one of the reasons, going back to the chorus, one of the reasons that the chorus is working so well for me is not only the chordal progression, but the fact that they switch to halftime. And that's the only time they do it in the song, is for the chorus. Uh, otherwise, we're in straight time, the whole way through, and I like that. It Again, it helps make the chorus stand out. And it's just another big selling point for why the chorus is the hook for me. So, gotta dig that. Let's finish this out and we'll get to the review. Yeah. 
Okay. Could have faded a little bit faster, but that's all right. Um. Okay. Let me get my thoughts together. Uh, shouldn't take me very long. I've already pretty much said everything I need to say. So uh, let me get my thoughts together. Hit a couple of boil points. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Chevelle with I Get It. Uh, this was a request from Ian Franks. Okay, there's honestly not a lot to talk about. So this is probably gonna be a pretty short review. Yeah, right. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that an 8.3. Yep, 8.3. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? It is a great song. I've heard better from them on the channel. I've heard more impressive songs from them on the channel, but this song to me has a lot of commercial appeal and it really comes down to that chorus more than anything else. Um, the song as a whole is, it is a great song. It felt good, it sounded good. Everybody did a great job playing the song. Vocally, I, I, I would say, it, it, this again, it comes down to the chorus. Everything he sang during the verses, don't get me wrong, it was, it was really well done, but the chorus, his vocal progression line, to the seven, to the six, to the five, to the four, to the seven, to the six, to the five, to the four, back up to the five. You know, it, it, again, playing around with the five, um, it felt really nice. I, I, I absolutely dug what was happening. Um, it had that kind of a major feel to it because it was the minor seven to the major six. It was just a semitone. So flat seven, minor seven, to the major six, one semitone to the five to the four, back up to the five again. Well, if you look at it from the terms of a scale, four to the five, to the six, to the seven, right? Well, what is that? It's a major scale. Four, five, six, flat seven. So you go from the four to the five, that's a full step. Five to the major six, another full step. From the major six to the minor seven, a half step. It's just like going root two, three, major three, four. It, it, that's why it sounds so appealing is because you got that you got that major dissension or the major descending line against the minor which feels really nice it it, it makes the vocals pop and I really like that um the 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 uh, the quarter progression in the chorus very simple root to the minor seven to the four not the five the four the e really nice really really nice i like that uh and it worked really well great uh marriage between what was happening quarterly with what was happening vocally in the chorus the chorus was the highlight for me uh the bridge was nice don't get me wrong i like what was happening in the bridge it sounded really good it was a nice variance but the the chorus is what said for me more than anything else and, and on top of it you had that great halftime feel happen only in the chorus that was the only time that we went into halftime is whenever the chorus would happen. Again, helping to sell the chorus, helping to make the chorus stand apart from the rest of the song. Don't get me wrong, like I said, the, the song as a whole, is it's a great song. I just, I've heard better from them, that's all. But overall, a great listen, and uh, definitely a song I would listen to again without hesitation. So yeah, 8.3, I feel good with that score, and that's where we're gonna stay. So, 8.3, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.